game continues. Ascending and descending describes the movement of the Black Alliance and the Family of Light as one ascends and the other descends. Wayshowers represent the Family of Light and are given power to make changes in political, economic, industrial, and third dimensional structures. Dark Masters are enslaved by the Black Alliance to continue the legacy of dominance over the weak. As the evolution breaks through, the wave showers honor the responsibility of carrying forth the plans which have been wanted by the followers for health, wealth, abundance, and happiness. The time in this game for the wave showers to rise in distinction and build a constituency is now. The stream of manifestation will turn into a river of transformation and flow into the ocean of ascension as it is given to all who have asked. The way showers are active and need to connect with the teachers of light. They must ask. Ask to be healed by being a healer and receive vibrant health. Ask for knowledge as you teach and receive wisdom. Ask for health as you give appreciation and receive abundance. Ask for love as you give with compassion and receive happiness. Ask for respect as you give gratitude and receive success. These are the things a way shower must do. The Descending Power In the dark game of the Black Alliance, they continue with a vengeance. As the heat intensifies, great distractions and grand deceptions are being played upon humanity. Media deceptions and incredible lies continue to be passed to the followers as truth, yet this cannot continue, as this is a shallow and ineffective ploy. It only enlivens and strengthens the Wayshowers' integration and power. Wayshowers are entitled to know the ascending power of oneness and also the descending power and the loss of dominance of the Black Alliance. The Family of Light is strongly influenced by the currents of change being brought about by galactic intelligence and destiny. Black Alliance grabs and strains to obtain small victories as its grip on power wanes. The diminishment increases as every bold attempt to fight back ends in humiliation, discord, and defeat. The Black Alliance would rather destroy all life than give up power. They have no choice as the Wayshowers have arrived and there is little time left for them to continue in their dark ways. With each passing thought, idea, belief, feeling, day, hour, minute, second, the dark energy concludes and disappears before the shining light. The dark ones find themselves blinded by the light shining forth from the new sun and unable to acknowledge the future plan and destiny. The last plan to save power and the dominance of the Black Alliance is simple. The dark masters want to bring a reign of terror on the world and control the masses using fear. The Black Alliance operates this process by creating problems, reactions, and solutions, and they organize conflict, attacks, and war. They do this from the fourth dimension, the emotional astral plane. The fourth dimension is non-physical, but the most potent area of desire, illusion, duality, and confusion. Their goal is to capture and place in slavery weak humans or who have become addicted to personal power, negative emotions, and the desire for material things. The Black Alliance uses mind control, disinformation, and mainstream media channels to confuse and distract the masses. The weakened humans cannot distinguish truth and do not see the deeper plans of this alliance. Education is superficial, boring, and teaches obedience, leaving the graduates stupid, indoctrinated, and brainwashed. Dark masters wage war on the human mind with weapons of mental and emotional beliefs to enforce deception and falsehood. Untainted souls are captives who become victims of deep and dark abuse. 
Their minds are compartmentalized and fragmented, held hostage alone, separated from any peace or safety. Innocent, tormented pawns wallow in the nightmares of unending abuse and manipulation of their lives. This cult of evil keeps absolute secrecy guarding its sacred rituals and rites of torture upon these naive, insignificant lives. Innocence is corrupted and captured for sinister purposes. Astral, psychological, emotional brainwashing gains total domination of each victim's individual psyche. They start before birth using drugs and poison to attack the developing embryo. In corporate-owned hospitals, each new soul is torn from her mother's body through surgery or by traumatic drug birth processes. The system is designed to place the incoming soul into a state of fear, paralysis, and confusion. Clinical medical procedures violate the body and re render pain upon helpless infants. Vaccination, surgery, tests, examinations, minister drugs, toxins, fears, and poisons to penetrate like a needle the soft tissues of the vulnerable bodies. Human touch, caring, and acceptance of natural birth are discounted, discouraged, and forbidden. Infants are seeded with addictive behavior, psychosis, and obsessions. Injected into their emptiness is pain and wanting for nourishment, which is denied and delayed. Dysfunctional interactions are normalized. The infant is desensitized by noise, drama, and chaos. The innocent being is thus programmed to be a slave to whatever provides protection from pain and fear. Sugar is introduced into the body through the mother and even stronger doses after birth. This is the process of physical addiction and sugar is an excellent pain enhancement. In every food substance, mother's milk, drugs, candy, negative emotions, discordant sounds, and invasive electromagnetic frequencies attach themselves to the open mind of the infant. Before the age of five, the newborn infant is taught to be an obedient slave of the Black Alliance. They use sensory redirection, stress, sweet rewards, electroshock, television, sleep deprivation, toys, human rejection, and continuous subconscious subliminal indoctrination through television and other advertising media. This is the process of domestication. The Black Alliance dominates with force and terrorizes the innocent with violence, fear, and hate. They are taught to compromise their humanity. They are taught to choose the evil. The lesser evil becomes stronger and stronger until the lesser evil is abuse, rape, and murder. The green doctors are taught in controlled universities to, to formalize clinical procedures compromising their oath to heal with the oath to drug and sicken and sustain sickness and profit from pain and death. Cures are not a worthy goal, only profit. Profit wants the sick to stay sick and pay more for more services. Slaves stay slaves to their addictions, to their medicine, to their high-fat, high-sugar foods, to their drugs, to their stress, to their desires, to their dreams, which are not dreams, for they are brainwashed, hypnotized, and obscured from the truth. These slaves want freedom, but seek it within the walls of a prison. Surreptitious, impenetrable infrastructures are the hallmark of the Black Alliance in every system and organization politics, religion, law, media, education, science, military, health, food, manufacturing, entertainment, sports, communications, it is all the evil. The system has 13 distribution points in which they cross-collaborate with the schools, religions, corporations, and government institutions. These are the primary disseminators of overt and subliminal controls.